All right, girl. Well, you know what people want you to do if you're... <laughs> Listen, I always say I want to be 5'7 and 120 pounds. It ain't happening. <laughs> You know that you know that that's the um, that's the thing about my gift is that I never know what's going to happen. Gonna, yeah, and you saw it. Yeah, even I saw her before lips, the last commercial her lips break. Her were twitching, and I she started. Was... I, I and and that's the thing. Like I feel things. It's not a matter of oh, is that my mother standing in front of you? It's not. That's not how it works. Right. I just start to feel things, and I I kept getting this heaviness in my chest. And then there was something about the throat, and then my legs started to get numb. So that's always my symbol for the throat, number one, is that someone didn't get the opportunity to say goodbye, and someone had a hard time letting go at the end. So um, I want to talk, um, talk about the uh, mother figure that passed from something of the brain. She talks about the brain. Okay. As Teresa's doing this, we're... What? Never mind. Go ahead, Teresa. Go ahead. How do you understand the brain with the mom? Whose husband is departed? I go right to the next soul. Your husband is departed? Okay. And how, how do you connect with the legs with your husband? Was he either bedridden or that he had an issue with the legs? Because when I go to a soul and they start to jump up and down, it means that they were restricted or they had some type of disability and or ailment with the legs. No, it was sudden. Okay. I'm going to go to the mother. See, this is what happens. Remember when I said to you before, what happens is when souls come in, they all want to talk at one time. You're all talking to your loved ones. So that kind of gives them that so they okay okay so you know your mother is the one that I was picking up with the brain and your mother tells me that you had to make a lot of choices and decisions connected to her departure is that correct yes because she, she showed me the light switch which means that you had to make choices and you weren't sure and now you're going back and you're saying maybe if I didn't do this maybe if I switched this doctor or brought her to this hospital that my mom would still be here or maybe she wouldn't have did you just get the chills or the goosebumps yes know that that was your mother's soul that just moved through you to validate that you made all of the right choices and decisions what happens is when spirit brings up certain things like your mom is doing it's because you're carrying that negative emotion which is not giving you the ability to heal yes your mother shows me her pocketbook so did you keep her pocketbook or do you still have her things inside the pocketbook is yes, that correct i do perfect i asked for these little crazy things because i'm the first one to say what i do is absolutely crazy how can someone communicate with someone that has died but to bring up something that nobody would know about to validate that she says I trusted you with all of my decisions and you did make all the right choices. She says, and I know how hard it was for you to say goodbye to me. She says, and I want you to know that I knew that you were by my bedside, holding me, fixing my hair, yes. and kissing me goodbye and telling me that it was okay to let go, that you would be fine. She goes, Teresa, I kept my end of the bargain, I let go, but my daughter is a mess. Is that correct? Yes. So your mother says, you need to hold up your end of the bargain by because you told me that you would be okay. Now, were you just reading your mom's, I don't know if she had a journal or like her address book? Address book. Perfect. She goes, I don't even know why she's reading it. Half the people are dead in that book. She goes, why does she still have the address book? <laughs> <laughs> so know that when you were reading through your mom's address book, know that her soul was with you at that exact moment. She says it's okay to let go of certain things. Do you understand that? Yes. Is your father also departed as well? Yes. So know that he's stepping forward. She just kept telling him to sit down. <laughs> she goes, oh, don't worry, that's not our daughter. Just sit, sit, sit. <laughs> yes. But that would be that person. We'll be right back right? with more yes. with Teresa Perfect. coming up after this. So I'm going to go to the husband. Was your husband not feeling well prior to his departure? Just... I don't care if it was two days before, if he's like, oh, I have a headache, or I don't feel good, I feel short of breath, and then he just died. No, but my father couldn't move his legs. Okay. But my husband died quite a while ago. It doesn't matter to me. As long as they're dead, that's all that matters. It doesn't matter if they're gone five days, five years, 50 years. Do you understand that? Yes. But do you yes. see how they got me to then come? What happens is they make me feel these things. You didn't acknowledge. I go to the next soul. So it's validating for you. So your dad had the issue with his legs. When spirit brings up a disability and or ailment, they don't want us to remember them sick. Right. So it's their way of saying, I want you to remember me healthy. And your husband is validating because he passed sudden and unexpected. Is that correct? Yes. But yet not feeling well prior up to but not really making a big deal about it correct so knowing that there was nothing that we could have done to have prevented the departure your husband is departed as well ma'am okay your husband says i want to take this opportunity to thank you he said i never thanked you he says you knew that i how much i loved you he says but i want to thank you for the way that you cared for me do you understand that 
He says, and I wish I had that opportunity to tell you that. He said, and how much I appreciated everything that you did for me. Your husband was ill prior to his departure, ma'am? Because he shows me how you cared for him, like in a nursing capacity. Because he's like, my wife did things for me that a wife shouldn't have to do. And that means in a nursing capacity. And was your husband not the same in the end, ma'am? Because he put a food tray in front of me and then threw it at me. That's my symbol for where their personality changes because of an illness or a disability. Do you understand that? So he says, and I'm sorry. He says, but I want you to know how much I love you. And more importantly, how much I appreciated everything that you did for me. He goes, and my wife makes a mean pie. So I don't know, you make good pie? I don't know if it's like a shepherd's pie or like a pecan pie or... How do you understand that? You under As long as you understand it, that's all I care about. And where is the brother come in that's departed? Or somebody like a brother? Good friend? Cousin? Is your brother departed? My brother-in-law died okay. recently. Perfect. So know that, I'm very sorry about that, but know that he's taking this opportunity to step forward as well. Did somebody fall? Who fell? Because I, I felt like I fell, and then that was the beginning of my downfall. How do you understand that? Was there something that I said before that you understood? Because they told me to look at you. Really? Yeah. So was there something that I said before? Spirit had me say, they were like, hmm, I wonder if that's my loved one. Well, you know, I have a lot of deaths that have occurred in my past. And so just thinking about that, you know, just made me think back on them. Did somebody fall? No, there hasn't been falls, but I guess you can interpret it like that uh, in some kind of way. However, you can, because look, you have to understand, I read with integrity. All right, Do you we want to thank our guest co-host, Teresa Caputo, for filling in for this entire hour as Ryan is still out. She is currently reading. We're gonna put all of this up on our WindyCityLive.com page. And of course, be sure to check it out. We don't want to interrupt her. We want to let her do her thing. So have a good day, everybody. Saying, why do you keep making me feel like I fall and I hit my head? Then it causes all of these other things. Is that correct, ma'am? Yeah. yeah, see, this is why people write things about me. I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> I say things because you're not expecting it, and it's very yeah. overwhelming. You thought you were g going to hear from your husband more so than your father. Do you understand that? Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's important that we need to hear from a, a, another soul before we can heal from the other losses. Do you understand that? Sure. Because your sure, father keeps coming forward. He made me feel like I fell in the bathroom and I hit my head. So, Different fall, but... But do, do you yeah. understand that? But then that caused all of these other disabilities and ailments, and it's almost like, oh, my God, if he never fell, none of this would have ever have happened. Possibly. So it's just validating that we need to let go of those things. Do you understand that? Sure. Sure, I do. So who is the young male that's departed connected to you? Wow. Are there three of them? Um, there have been quite a few. Only because yeah. I saw three, th three souls step mm -hmm. forward and they made me feel like that there was such a burden mm -hmm. that is carried throughout the family. Do you understand that? Definitely. Can so it's acknowledging family. that their souls are at peace. They don't want us to carry these burdens. Mm -hmm. Someone have like a crazy haircut or like they would have their head shaved and like have like different things shaved in their head or like designs or something. Do you know someone like that? They keep showing me like lightning bolts and stars. I don't know what that is in the sides of the head. Do you know someone with the crazy haircut, sir? Are you a barber? No? I make you nervous, sir? How do you connect with the mom that's departed? Grandmother? Yeah. Yes, <laughs> Okay. You, you, you have to understand, I'm very blessed. I still have my parents here in the physical world. My in-laws are still here in the physical world. I only recently lost my grandparents. And when spirit makes me feel that I carry such a burden or the weight of the world on me, and I feel like I lost a part of my soul, I think we all feel that way when we do lose a loved one. But in this case, I just felt that I wish I could have done more. Do you understand that? And we feel guilty. Look, the reason why spirit brings these things up is because when we place these burdens, we can't heal. 
So saying, I don't want you to look back and say, I should have been there more. I should have done more. I should have done this. Do you understand that? Please let go of all regret. No regrets. Remember the good times. Does that make sense? And you're a good boy. Do you understand that? We're off? Well. <laughs> No, we just lowered your mic. The dead people don't know off. <laughs> <laughs>